Hey, what's up guys? Sam where I am and welcome to another episode of Maxing with Math. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about maxing order for mains. And this is going to be using the EHP coming from Crystal Math Labs. And so let's just get straight into it because I got a lot to talk about during this episode. Um, so there's going to be a few skills that do not have any sort of um, passive XP. And that's where pretty much maxing order comes from, is what sort of skills you need to get the best XP and what sort of passive XP you're going to be getting for like through those methods. And so um, the first few skills I'm going to talk about are going to be construction and crafting. Um, using EHP, these two actually have zero passive X XP that you gain from other skills, and they're probably the two uh, more useful ones now. Um, doing crafting to 99 will get you the crafting cape, which gets you an extremely great teleport that can be used for almost any skill. It's a great cape to be having on if you're scaling because it's it's only 0.5 uh, ticks slower than Castle Wars average uh, bank and it's infinite so crafting is 99 getting the cave for that is going to be great and then getting construction to 99 if you um, getting construction to 99 or even just 91 and waiting because 91 is the highest uh, pool that you can or the highest thing that you can actually use from construction now if they do happen to update the construction cape to have infinite house teleports definitely go for 99 instead of just 91 because that's going to be extremely useful for farm runs and anything in general so uh, getting those two out of the way let's talk next about a few more that are good b to start before actual levels um, this is getting 19 herb lore this gets you the first uh, this gets you guam tar which is going to be a method used to um, three tick fishing you can do this at any time. If you want to get 99 herb lore right away, go for it. But you should get 19 herb lore first before working on any other skill. Um, the next skill you should be considering is getting 9 fletching. Doing 9 fletching gets you the ability to do bronze bolts. And why I say bronze bolts is because bronze bolts is a zero time skill. Fletching should be done as a zero time skill because you can fletch bolts or darts while doing other skills such as agility, hunter, um, slayer, anything. like So it takes zero time. And so if you get 9 fletching, that gives you bronze bolts. And then you can just slowly move up to better bolts or better things through there. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is going to be magic. Getting magic for teleports and other things, uh, such as getting it to 82 for magic imbue is going to be a good thing as well. Plus, uh, if you get your higher magic levels, you can also use uh, portals inside of your house. Um, but definitely just go for quest requirements for this or go to 82 so you can have magic imbue whenever you're doing skills such as fishing, woodcutting, mining, anything like that so you can passively gain it because magic should also be a passive, um, a zero time skill because even with once you get to 55, you should be high alking. Um, you should be high alking for passive XP while doing agility. Um, so get that just with quest requirements or 82, and you can get that to 99 passively, just like fledging. Um, the next skill set we're going to talk about are going to be skills that you can pretty much do at any time, and that's going to be hunter. You do want to do hunter. Um, after you get 19 herb lore for 3 tick box traps. But you can do that anytime. Thieving, you can do it anytime. There's no passive XP. Um, if you did want to do thieving a better way, you could wait until 99 hit points. Um, so you can get the 99 hit point cape, which gives the regen bonus as well as a regen bracelet. So you're gaining 4 hit points every single second, which could be useful for pyramid plunder and blackjacking so you don't have to use those things or use prayer instead um, the next one that we're going to talk about or I guess also with thieving if you're going to be doing pyramid plunder which it could be EHP but I'm pretty sure EHP is still just blackjacking um, you want to wait until 75 defense for the serpentine helm so you can use that so you don't get poisoned during a pyramid plunder 
The next thing is going to be farming. Farming is technically a passive skill. You do get it over time with trees, um, farm trees, all of that. Don't do tithe farming if you're going with the HP. Just go with trees, do your tree runs every day, and you'll slowly get 99 over time. No need to rush it either because it does take 1,800 efficient hours played to max a main account. And so if you wanted to save a little bit of money, you can always go with... Um, cheaper trees for the GP per XP. Um, another, uh, the last one of, that I'm going to talk about in this group said that you can do it almost any time is going to be prayer. And you want to get 97 or 98 prayer before you start Slayer. Um, just because you'll eventually get the Bone Crusher from the Mauritania Elite Diaries. And that'll get you some passive prayer XP by just training Slayer. And so that's why I say wait until probably 98. I doubt it's going to get you more than a mil XP just by doing Slayer. So go with 97, 98 prayer before starting Slayer. But you can do that pretty much any time. Um, the next group set are going to be a little bit of the more obvious ones. It's going to be... Um, first, let's talk about cooking. You want to get cooking to the upper 90s before you start fishing. It's because fishing is going to be... The efficient three tick method is to do the um, cutting the your fish that you cook through barbarian fishing, getting the um, row and all that stuff. But I say upper 90s because you actually get a higher chance to get the food from cutting the fish at a higher cooking level. So if you have a higher cooking level when you start fishing to do three tick, you have more you have a better chance to do that. Um, and you. Right after cooking in the upper 90s, the mid upper 90s, you want to do fishing. After fishing to 99, you want to do that's going to get you about like 1.1 mil agility and strength XP. Um, so then you'll want to do agility pretty much right after that. Um, you want to do agility to 98. Don't get it to 99, even though you do want to get 99 for the 100% rune crafting abyss. But 99% is pretty much the same, and plus you get a slight bit of passive XP through the Abyss for agility. Um, the next one that we're going to talk about is going to be mining. Definitely get 61 mining before you get, or get 61 mining. Don't train mining until you get 85 smithing, and then do 85 smithing. Um, and th so you can do a smoldering stone and add it to a dragon pickaxe. And so you get passive smithing XP through mining. And so same thing with this, like agility, only get it to 98. So you can have a better chance of going through the best. Plus you get the passive mining XP through that. Next, it's going to be the same thing for fire making and wood cutting. So get fire making to 85, get wood cutting to 61, and don't go any further up until you get 85 fire making. So you can add that smoldering stone to the dragon axe and get the passive XP, fire making XP through wood cutting. And this, like I said, this is all EHP, so this doesn't include winter Todd. This is going to be doing just red, red wood logs for fire making XP post 90. Um, next thing you should probably work on is going to be rune crafting since you do have the mining and agility after that you should probably be going with rune crafting because rune crafting gets you um, it gets you money and especially with EHP post 91 up until 40 million rune crafting XP the EHP is actually at um, EHP is for double nats and so you'll want to be doing so that's why I said getting mining and agility before that um, and so the final ones that we actually have are going to be attack, strength, defense, hit points, range, and slayer. Um, all of these, I'd say getting, so you have strength, you already have about 74 strength through fishing at this point. I'd say getting attack, strength, and defense all up to 80, because that's only about 2 mil XP. And doing slayer, um, at least according to CML, you do not get 40 million out of 200 mil um, XP from the from doing 200 mil Slayer, and so you're only getting about 160 mil uh, passive Slayer XP through that, and so so through 200 mil Slayer you get um, one, or you can start with 40 mil um, of those 
combat skills. So you start with 40 mil, and then once you get to 200 mil Slayer, you're going to have enough. So those are going to get you 200 mil. So that's where he came up with getting 80 and attack strength and defense um, before you start Slayer. Range can be done whenever, just because you will be doing it with Slayer efficiently. And then hit points is also just going to be passive through Slayer as well. Um, so that was a lot to go over. I really didn't talk about, I just talked about what each of them do. I didn't really talk about an actual maxing order. So let's get into the actual ma uh, maxing order, considering I just went through what passive things would go. And so in my opinion, you should probably be doing um, construction and crafting first for sure, because they give you extremely useful, um, extremely useful things with their capes. Um, go with Herblore. Herblore doesn't really mean a whole lot, plus Herblore is going to be extremely nice um, for maxing just because it gives, because there's no real reason not to get it unless it's money issue, but this is also EHP. Um, next, next is going to be Fletching and Magic. Only do those slightly, only do those a little bit up until you can get to the point where you can do it with zero time and then that becomes an extremely easy skill. Um, next you'll want to be doing hunter, thieving, and farming. And so with those it's the same thing as what I said earlier. You just want to get those to 99 just because there are 99s and you really don't need, there's really no passive XP that are gained from other skills. Um, next you might as well go with prayer just because prayer is the same thing. Only passive XP you get is from Slayer or Training. And so that leaves you about 2 mil that I'm going to leave out that you could gain from Slayer. So only gets Prayer up to 97 to 98 and then passively gain that. Um, the next ones would be going with Cooking um, into the upper 90s before you start Fishing. Then you go with Fishing, then that'll passively get you 99 Cooking. Um, once you do Fishing, that's going to get you agility and strength up to about 72 to 74 and for agility that skips you all of the bad courses and so you can go straight to the seers with candor and diary but for agility do not go until 98 runecrafting um, the next part is going to be mining for and then mining and smithing fire making wood cutting like I said earlier in the video make sure you're getting 85 smithing and 85 fire making before continuing with mining after you get 61 and wood cutting and then go through rune crafting because you already have the mining and agility levels high enough to do rune crafting through the abyss and if you don't want to you could do rune crafting sooner as long as you have the quest cape and then finally you've got all the combat skills of attack strength defense hit points range and slayer go with Get, make sure to get your attack strength and defense up to 80 before starting Slayer, and then just do Slayer up until 99 while getting all of the 99s in range hit points, attack strength, and defense. Anyways, guys, um, there was your uh, actual maxing order, kind of the TLDW of what is actually going on with with this stuff. And one thing that I didn't really mention, but I thought I'd talk about right now, is to I'm gonna put these on the screen. We've got the um, the requirements for a quest cape and then the requirements for achievement diary cape. These should be done as soon as possible. So before actually getting any of these skills, you should probably be working on getting these um, these minimal skills first before going for 99. So yeah, um, that video was a lot longer than I was expecting it to be. Um, pretty much almost 14 minutes. Actually, it'll probably be 14 minutes once I end it with my outro and everything. Um, but I'll definitely be adding a TLDW at the beginning because this is a longer video and there was a lot of, I guess, rambling towards the beginning talking about the passive XP and why you should be doing it and the actual maxing order was kind of at the end. Um, so uh, if you guys did like that video, please let me know. I do have an idea for a shorter video later at this week to talk about maxing as well but necessarily not not necessarily about the maxing order. Um, anyways, guys, if you like the video, leave a like. If you want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe. I will be doing a a Skiller EHP, since Skillers do have, uh, technically, they do have EHP right now. And so I'm going to be doing a Skiller method of this as well, and what they should be doing in what order um, here 
probably next week or so. But anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one.